everybody, my name is Daniela Park and I wanted to show you my new boat. My husband didn't want me to get a big boat yet because he grew up with boats. And so I decided I was still going to get a boat, but I was going to start small and see how it goes. And if I was capable of that, maybe later we'll look into a larger boat. So I ended up getting the Bass, um, I'm sorry, the Pond Prowler 10. I got it at the Bass Pro Shop, and it's a perfect boat for me. I'm going to take my mother in it. I have a lot of upgrades that I'm going to do, and I uh, wanted to show you all that it has and uh, what I plan on doing with it. So hope you enjoy. All right, so here we go. We've got the brand new boat. I haven't set it up yet. I just barely put the uh, seats together. The boat comes fully wired and ready to go. Uh, I'm not a fisher, but a fisherman, but there is pole uh, slips for uh, the people that love to fish. The seats look pretty comfortable, but I have looked at upgrades. You can get pretty great upgraded seats for about 129 bucks on uh, Bass Pro Shop. But for now, they don't look bad. They slide, you can swivel them, so you can basically uh, sit any way you want. You can face the person uh, behind you, or you can face forward or backward or whatever you want, which is kind of cool. Uh, the trolling motor I got was a 30 thrust trolling motor, which I hear picks up pretty good. Um, I think it'll be fine for for me, I only weigh 130 pounds, so I think it'll push me across the river or lake or whatever I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think I'm going to put the trolling motor in the front. I hear that if you put it in the front, you have much more control over where the boat's going. Plus, I don't really like having my arm behind me because I feel like it might be uncomfortable. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could put it in the back and sit sideways, I'm sure. Um, Here's a picture of the um, Minn Kota trolling motor I got. Not very expensive. I think I got it on sale, hundred and something dollars. And um, <clears throat> what I also have seen, which I think is pretty cool, is for the back, I saw a boat where they took some PVC and basically took a metal bracket right here and attach their own rudder for the back and apparently it helps a lot for windy days and if you're trying to get the boat straight I don't think I'll be in the boat alone ever um, so I probably will have enough weight to um, take care of that I got it registered today even though it is a small boat with a very slow speed trolling motor uh, they do have you register in Florida. You don't have to take a class on boating or anything because it's below the speed level. Uh, another thing I bought was the battery. And what I did was is I bought the battery cover. And the reason why is because I want to see what is going on with my battery and how much power I have left. Um, not quite sure what battery I got, but I do believe it's the strongest marine battery that you could find. I ended up getting it at, uh, I think, Battery Plus. I'm not sure. I have to find out about that. I also ended up getting a trickle charger, so I can always be ready to go. Now, there are a lot of things you can do to upgrade this. I don't fish, so I won't be standing on my feet, but... A lot of people like to put in their own custom floor, which might be neat. Uh, also, during the hot summers in Florida, it would be nice to have a bimini top. So I saw that they do offer bimini tops for this type of boat. So that was really exciting. It was about $150. I'm going to start setting up and uh, I'll show you my final product when I'm done. Thank you. So if you've never had a boat before and you're wondering how to install your trolling motor on the front of your boat, don't look hard on the internet because you won't find much. <laughs> uh, 
um, basically for the um, Min Kota Endura, you will take out this screw, which I'm gonna be doing in just a second, and then you'll just be flipping it around to install um, the engine on the front and have the uh, propeller going the proper way, which will be the other way. All right, so that took me about one minute. Um, be careful because the screw will fall out the other side. All you do is flip it around. There's a little bolt there that falls out. And voila. There we go. One step further. So little by little, we're getting set up here. Um, we put the battery in. We've got the battery cover. Again. Uh, my husband got some uh, zip ties and some um, waterproof coverings to put over and the electric is already set up through the boat we set up the trolling motor in the front and basically zip tied everything and also um, put some waterproof plugs on the front um, apparently it works great I'm also going to put on the sides uh, some clamps for the paddles so they can be out of the way. And I am going to take that 15 pound anchor and set up a, uh, probably right around here, I'll set up a, oh, what is it called? Darn it. Forgive me wench <laughs> it's a wench and basically i'll put it here and the anchor will kind of dangle from the side staying out of the way which is really nice and then if i want it i can just have a little clip here let it out stop stop the um the line and then also maybe get a little um i'm learning all the terms i don't know what they all are it's one of those things where you can take the the, um, the rope and stick it through a few times so it's gonna keep it stuck in one place. So this is this is the boat set up with the minimal stuff that you need. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna upgrade quite a bit. But for now, we are geared up to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I learned everything myself for the first time, so hopefully you got something out of it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop a comment below, and I'll be doing lots more videos on how I learn. So if you're a woman or man, hopefully I have some answers.